what's going on guys welcome to another video and today we will learn on how to add some logic for your adding and deleting of your data in app sheet but before i begin i just want to say uh my thanks to all of you for your support we have actually reached a new heights uh, in terms of subscribers and comments and i'm seeing there's a lot of comments in my absence uh, I guess ever since Ramadan, uh, I haven't been doing uh, a lot of uh, many videos lately. A uh, bit busy with uh, some projects going on and new exciting things to share with you guys soon. So stay tuned for more. Anyways, uh, for today's uh, video, it's actually coming from um, Pankaj Argarwala. Uh, thank you, brother, for your comments. I, I've been uh, seeing it a lot in the channel recently. So the question uh, is alongside uh, something that goes like uh, allowing users in his industry to allow deleting or editing a record till the time it hasn't been approved by the admin. So once approved, they should be only be able to see the entries but not be able to delete or edit them. Please share your views on this. Pretty sure I can share my view on this. And there's a lot of ways of doing it. And of course, one of the ways that I'll be sharing with you in this video shortly requires some, um, basically a condition which will have or helps uh, you to have more control so that we can actually allow the users to add or delete or edit a while before the admin approves the information, which is crucial for your auditing purposes. Anyways, without further ado, let's check it out. Okay, guys, so I'll just do a very basic without any sophisticated or complex settings for our tutorial today. So as you can see on my screen, I have a sample of a transaction table. So where I have the ID, the date, amount, the customer username and approval. So our main focus today will be on column E, which is approval. Okay, so this is where it determines the data, whether it's the transaction, sorry, whether it's been approved or not approved by the admin. All right. So in the uh, app itself, I have both tables, transaction and user. We won't be using user for today, but it's okay. I'm just putting it here for fun. And in transaction, the approval column, as shown earlier, I am using the yes, no data type. All right, so let's add. Uh, so here, what uh, our good friend Pankaj uh, wants is Prior to the admin approval, the user will still be able to do any changes, all right? So once it's been approved, uh, it won't be able to, they won't be able to delete or edit the data. Okay, so going to actions, let's add a approval button. Approve. And we will set the approval column to true. All right. So since it's a yes or no, so it's either true or false. So we just put a icon here. Okay. So let's use this instead. Okay. Approve done. So let's save this for now. So in the transaction table okay we'll have to go one by one in the update behavior and whether it is editable the condition that i'm setting here is not for approval column which means it is still editable if the approval column is false okay means 
if it's not been approved then you're still able to edit the column okay so simply copy this expression and repeat to all of the um, other columns all right so let's see the other one so yes say for example for customer username i'm just going to add this again okay and save it so we have covered the edit part where you are still able to edit while it's still being uh, prior to approval and for delete button similar to the expression that we use only this time in actions for the delete um, i would say action button the behavior itself would use the exact same expression which is not for approval okay same goes to edit as well i know this is a bit redundant actually i can just go straight to edit instead of by columns but you know better safe than sorry okay so once we have all this in place let's just say we have the delete edit and approve button here and if i were to click on approve you will no longer see the uh, edit and delete of course in fact in this particular table details i'm no longer able to delete since there's no uh, edit button here on the uh, on the right bottom corner of the app this is another transaction that's yet to be approved hence why i can actually edit see okay but once it's been approved the button disappears and that's all to it so guys uh, i hope you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to drop a like and subscribe if you haven't so so that you may find more contents like this in the future and of course uh, before i end this video since there is a question on how to provide support to my channel uh, and one of the uh, questions is also coming from uh, our good friend uh, pankaj agarwala so to do that you can actually find a membership or join button at my channel and from there you can actually support me uh, if you like there's no forcing you to do so but it's very much appreciated and thank you to all current members and of course for members uh, there will be a special segment coming soon where you'll be able to copy any apps or request any apps that has been used throughout all my videos for your usage and there will be of course uh, member specific videos that i'll be releasing very very soon and it starts with a dollar and of course it goes up along the way so i hope to see you guys in the next video don't forget to drop your questions and your comments so that uh, i'm able to do more videos for you guys in the future so take care guys hope to see you guys in the next video take care bye bye